What if you had this job? A job that gave you the freedom to make your own schedule and travel the world, letting you fly wherever you wanted to, whenever you wanted. Theoretically, at any time, you could wake up and say, I'm getting on the next flight to Hawaii. And before you know it, the beach you just saw on a social media post is now sitting right in front of you. And then God tells you to let it go. The job I just described was the job I had for almost six years. I went to my local airport at 18 years old and I had no idea what I was walking into, but God was about to open doors I didn't even know existed. In a matter of days, I was employed with an aviation company for Delta and United Airlines. I had never even been inside of an airport up until that point, but now it was like the whole world had opened up. All of a sudden, I was quite literally in Hawaii hiking up an extinct volcano, or trailing the lush green rivers in the Appalachian Mountains, driving through the stunning valleys of Yosemite, sitting in the flower-covered fields of Wyoming, looking out at the high-rises of downtown Chicago, playing in a German winter wonderland beneath snow-capped Bavarian Alps, or watching the South African sunset from the top of Lion's Head. I was going places I had never pictured myself going, and I kept having to pinch myself and ask God, is this real? What did I do to deserve this? But as the years went by, I found myself feeling spiritually stuck. I felt like I was riding a treadmill on a merry-go-round. No matter what I did, I just seemed to be going in circles, repeating the same thing over and over again. I would go to work each week and look around and wonder, what am I still doing here? It was around that time that I started hearing God tell me to let this job go. Every time the thought would rise up in me though, I would shut it down because I didn't want to lose the benefits that came with this job. I got so comfortable being able to do whatever I wanted whenever I wanted to. But the dangerous thing about being comfortable is that it keeps you in the same place. But if God is calling us to grow and mature, how can we do that if we refuse to move when he tells us to move? It's hard for him to put something new in our hands if we're still holding on to something else. Not to say this job hasn't been a huge blessing. In fact, in the beginning, it actually helped me get out of my comfort zone and grow in areas I once had zero confidence in. But what started as a blessing became a stronghold disguised as a blessing the moment I chose to disobey God when he told me to let it go. If he gives and takes away, then we have to live with open hands and hold loosely the things that he gives us. If we are a vessel for him to flow in and out of, then we can't put a cap on ourselves when we become satisfied with where we're at, and then wonder why we're still stuck in the same place. We can't expect God to unleash full breakthrough in our lives when we haven't unleashed full surrenderance to him. I realized it was actually a poverty mindset to hold on to this job as long as I did. Because as much as I know God can do anything, in the back of my mind I thought, how can God do better than this? I can't let this job go because this may be the best thing God will give me. That is a terrible mindset to have. God can do miraculous and unimaginable things with your obedience. When you step out in faith, He will open doors you didn't even know were there. I know how hard it is to let go of something that seems to be giving you security, benefits, and comfort, but don't allow a blessing to become a stronghold. Don't allow a job to become an idol. Take the Israelites, for example. In the days of famine, Egypt became a place of refuge and security for the Israelites. But after the famine, Egypt became the nation they were enslaved to. What started as a resource in a time of need became their source of oppression. Don't be enslaved to your job. If God tells you to move, then move. Don't let yourself get sucked down the drain of the world system. It will keep you running tirelessly after something that doesn't even belong to you. Before you know it, you'll live your whole life and realize you haven't even fulfilled the purpose He put you here to do to begin with. Ask yourself, why did God put me on this earth? What was I created for? What is my purpose? That is what you should be doing, at whatever cost. That is what will matter in the end. Don't be distracted by the ideals and goals of the world, which will come to nothing. 
and don't worry how you're going to take care of yourself or those around you. When you say yes to God, He will provide. Seek first the kingdom and all the less important things will be added to you abundantly. That being said, after years of procrastinating, I finally did what God told me to do and I let go of this job. I had no idea what would come next. I just prayed that he would open the doors that he wants me to walk through and close the doors that he doesn't. And that's the great thing about faith is that you don't have to have everything figured out. You just have to trust. And after that, in just a matter of weeks, God presented a new opportunity. And I'm excited to see what comes from it. And I believe that just as he paved ways in the wilderness before, I will see him do it again and again and again. And I believe that you will see it too if you choose to trust him. If you are still here, I do have exciting news. Skill Sanctum now has its own website. I try to use the creative skills God gives me for his kingdom. So this is a space not only to show what projects I've done in the past, but also where anyone can order custom projects from me whenever they want. So make sure to check that out if you are interested. Thank you for watching. I hope this encouraged you. Make sure to subscribe for the next video and have a blessed life.